12 o'clock, peak time for this father-son team at the Wiener Wagon, serving up hot dogs, fries and more to hungry customers. It's a business idea that started to support Jake. Jake is uh, on the autism spectrum, we have Asperger's. Jake graduated from a cooking course and he was finding it difficult to find work. And I seen this cart for sale up in uh, Stanhope. And I said to him, well, why don't we approach it, uh, the guy who's selling it, and maybe we can get it for a half decent price, and then you can become your own boss. And that's what happened. <laughs> for Jake, cooking has always been a part of his relationship with Father Ray. For as long as I can remember, me and Dad usually did a lot of uh, baking experiments when I was but a young kid. We would make cupcakes, we baked bread. At first, I decided maybe just become a pastry chef, but then I decided why stick with the one thing when you could just do both. The business quickly took off, not despite, but thanks to the pandemic. No one was allowed inside any buildings, so people would stop by the road, honk their horn, put in their order, we'd bring it out to the car, they'd pay it through, just slip the money into the window, and it worked out, had a phenomenal year. At first, we were just sitting by the road, you know, waiting for people to come to us. But then eventually we started doing events and our popularity just rose from there. Yeah. We've been getting more and more events and honestly, I'm astounded by how big this has become. For Jake, it's a way of improving his social skills. I think it's a pr pretty big achievement for me. I mean, I don't consider myself a, a special little snowflake or anything, but uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good, you know. I get to exercise my skills and get to meet people and uh, Keep me busy. For the future, the two have big plans, making the Wiener Wagon a full-time gig for son and father. There's only one wagon, so it's hard to be in two places at once, obviously we can't. And we've turned on some big jobs because of it, so there's potential there for more. So hopefully uh, within the next three years we'll be uh, moving on to the second vehicle and then I can get him a coach to go with him and I'll venture off in another direction and. Hopefully by the end of the day it works out. <laughs> it's an opportunity Jake is grateful for. I just want to thank my dad for uh, helping me out with this. He's been a big help. And uh, for all the wondering, I pay him weekly. Very weekly. <laughs> and uh, if anyone's watching this, I hope you come down for a Big Willy or a hot dog or something. And Life is short. Eat the wiener. Henrique Wilhelm, CBC News, Placentia.